Hey you guys, um, my name is Russ from Team Callahan and welcome to another What's Up Wednesday. Uh, everyone these days is talking about mortgage rates, mortgage rates, mortgage rates. And um, I thought I would come to y'all with a couple of quick tips or some hacks as we call it so that you can kind of get an edge on um, uh, reducing your mortgage payment or reducing the life of your loan or taking a vacation every year. Yes, you can do that. Watch. So, number one, the first mortgage hack is uh, taking uh, your 30-year mortgage down to a 15-year mortgage. Um, it's very simple to do, um, uh, and basically what it does is it makes sure that you're paying less interest at the end. You, you pay off the house sooner, okay? So we're going to talk about a $300,000 loan, okay? Um, a 30-year rate right now, roughly, uh, is around 6.5%, which means this is the amount of interest you'll pay over 30 years, $382,000. Versus a 15 year, you get a little bit better rate, you're only paying $170,000, okay? Um, which means, in the end, you're saving $212,000. Over 15 years, that's like $14,000 a year. So you could like buy a Honda Civic every year with, uh, with that much money. Um, now I know what you're thinking, don't 15 year mortgages cost more per month? Yes, they do, okay? To the tune of, I don't know what is that, 650 bucks roughly. Um, that's not chump change, I totally get it. Uh, if, if this isn't in the cards for you, you don't wanna pay 2,500 bucks for a $300,000 house, no problem. Let's pretend you're working with a $2,000 a month budget. You know, most people have budgets, you know, it's a responsible way to be. Um, if you have a monthly payment of eight, uh, almost $1,900, $1,896, you're saving 104 bucks a month. Okay, very responsible, very cool. Dave Ramsey would be happy uh, for you. Over the course of a year, that means you're saving $1,248 a year. If you were to put that uh, onto your mortgage as an extra payment, you'd reduce your mortgage from 30 years down to 26 and a half. Now I know what you're saying, oh my God, who cares about that? I'm not even gonna live in a house that long. Why would I care, why would I care? I feel you. You probably are looking for a better interest rate. I get it. most people are these days. Um, the one way to get your rate down from six and a half to five and a half, let's just say, is to buy points, okay? Points gives you a discount off of your rate. One point is 0.25% uh, off of the rate, uh, and it costs you 1% of the loan amount, all right? And I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you, just bear with me. Basically, if you want to get your rate down a full percentage point, you need to buy four points. So for this particular loan, it would cost you 12 grand, okay? I know that's a lot of money, but wait, there's more, all right? Spending that $12,000 will take you down from 1896 to 1703, okay? That's 193 extra dollars a month you're saving, okay? That's not chump change, that's good money, okay? Now remember, we're starting with a $2,000 a month budget because you told me, I remember you said, uh, I have a $2,000 a month budget. I'm not getting a 15 year mortgage. Great. We're saving you $297 a month, okay? You had to spend 12 grand to do it, but we're saving you $297 a month, all right? That is $3,564 a year, okay? All for spending 12 grand. Now, bear with me here. You spent 12, now, whatever, 12,000 on points. You saved 3564 a year. That means you're paying yourself back in three years and four months. Do you know what you get to do every year after that? You get to take this savings and you get to go on a vacation. You literally, by spending $12,000 when you bought your house, can take a vacation every year after the third year you own your house. A vacation every year, all right? Now tell me, that, that's gotta be something. Now, no, I threw a bunch of numbers at you. It's crazy, I can't do all this, it's way too complicated. Best thing you can do, easiest thing you can do is just refi, okay? Uh, or refinance, all right? If you wanna uh, get a lower interest rate, but you don't wanna pay for it, and you don't care about taking a vacation every year, you just uh, refi. You can wait. Every couple of years, you monitor interest rates. Wait for them to go down. And remember, a reduction in rate by 1% will reduce your monthly payment by 10%. So if you buy at 6.5% and you want 5.5%, just wait, the rate will go down and then you can start 
taking your vacations after that. Just remember, replies have closing costs attached to it, a couple thousand bucks, and it will reset your mortgage, which means it pushes your payoff further down the road. So anyways, that's some mortgage hacks for you, uh, whether you're really aggressive and wanna spend money to save money, or you wanna keep it simple and wait to save money, we've got tips and more for you. Um, give us a holler if you have any questions, all right?